Hello, my amazing artists. Today, we're going to make some beautiful masterpieces with lines and shapes. If you can tell, my fingers are covered in marker because I couldn't help myself. I made a couple examples for you. So, lines and shapes. Let's take a look. So, I heard a little birdie told me that first graders are learning about fractions. And I thought, you know what? We should make some art with some fractions. So, this is a really good example. A famous artist um, makes or used to make a lot of art that looks something like this, very similar with the primary colors, the black and white, the straight lines, the squares. I will link that on my website so you can check out all his cool artwork. So we're going to take a look at that and then you can make your own similar to that design using fractions. So the way I broke up this paper was I drew some lines to separate it into squares and rectangles. So I drew a line on this side and then on this side and I broke that up into four pieces and then I broke those up even more. So it's really interesting when you draw more and more and more lines, you're creating more patterns, you're creating more shapes and it adds more detail to your artwork. Let's take a look at another example using circles. So this one uses squares and rectangles. This example uses circles to make fractions. So when you're drawing circles, sometimes it helps to have something round. I have this lid for my candle and I thought that was a perfect circle. I also have this other lid. I have this little jar thingy that I turned upside down and traced. So it's nice to have those tracers around. Something I didn't want to use for a tracer is something like this. This is a coaster and it's not perfectly round like a circle. It's a little more organic. So I want something that's factory made maybe is plastic and I know it's gonna be a perfect circle. So when I trace these shapes, I used my ruler. You definitely wanna use a ruler for this kind of artwork um, to make these straight lines and to divide up my circle. So this circle is kind of hiding behind the bigger one. I drew a line down the middle, so that is half. So if you would draw a line down the middle of your circle, you have one half and then the other half. So one over two, because there's two whole parts, right? One, two parts. The denominator and then the numerator is at the top. So one half. That's at my half circle. This circle over here, let's count how many parts it has. One, two, three, four. So that one is divided into fourths. So I have one over four. So we've got four parts in that circle. Last but not least, I have this one. This is the trickiest to draw. I'm gonna give you a hint on how to do it though. It's easier um, than you might think. So I've got thirds here, cause I've got one, two, three parts. And I've got the, what kind of colors are making up this circle? I hope you said the cold colors because those are the cold or the cool colors, green, blue, purple. The end of the rainbow are the cold colors. Let me show you how to draw that circle broken up into thirds. So on my piece of paper, I'm gonna trace something that I know is round. Okie doke. So now I'm going to put my ruler in the middle, kind of line it up. I don't need to put my ruler in the center because I want to draw a line on one side. So I'm going to scooch it over a little bit I'm gonna draw a line halfway down my circle in the middle. So I'm not gonna bring my line all the way down because that would make two parts. I want three parts. So after I've made my line halfway down to about the middle of the circle, I'm gonna divide it into a V. It also looks a lot like a peace sign. So I'm just gonna freehand Ta-da! And that's a pretty easy way to draw thirds. Now we're not perfect, we don't have to measure it or anything, but we know that there's three parts that are pretty much about the same size. So that's one over three, there's three total parts. If you've ever seen a peace sign, it looks a lot like this. Sometimes there's a line down the middle like that, which would make this not thirds, this would be broken up, right? So if we broke these all up, 
There we go. Let's count how many parts there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now this is one sixth, and then these two sixths together is one third, if you took this whole piece right there. All right, going back to art. Once you've uh, divided up your paper with different shapes, you can color in those spaces as you like. I took this long rectangle here that kind of hides behind the circle and divided it up into one, two, three, four pieces. So you could do squares, rectangles, you could just stick with that. You could add in some circles if you'd like a challenge. I've got one more here that I wanted to show you that I'm working on. This is a whip or a work in progress, W-I-P. I started with this circle and it was pretty tricky to draw. I drew a line and then I added my tracer around. I started at that line went almost all the way around, stopped, and then I made those two lines in the middle that come together. So this is three quarters, three fourths of a circle because we've got this fourth missing, right? We can divide it up like that. One, two, three. Oh, that fourth piece is in this square, or it's, I guess you could say it's behind this big square. You can also draw these cool diagonal lines and make really cool triangle fractions. So we know this is a whole triangle, but then when you divide it up in half, it makes two smaller triangles. Pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you have a lot of fun creating your fraction artwork. Definitely check out my website if you haven't already to see some pretty famous historical artworks that you can uh, copycat or make versions of your own. Don't forget when you're making your circles, I would highly recommend finding something round, a plate, a cup, something like that um, to make your circles with. It's much easier. And then when you are drawing your rectangles or squares, I would definitely say, Grab your ruler so then you can make nice straight lines and angles to help you make very clear fractions. And then kind of eyeball. That looks like half, right? Maybe I'll make this a diagonal line. So now I have two triangles here, right? Ooh, getting pretty crazy. So you get as creative as you would like. I'm super excited. I hope I get to see your fraction artwork very soon. Bye-bye.